Okay, so we're here. I wanted to talk about this post that I made called uh, Under Control. Now, it didn't take me very long to write this post. I think it's because I've had this, I've had the idea for this post on my mind for a long time. What inspired me about this post is you always see the expression, there are your plans and then there are God's plans. And another one goes something like, like God laughs when you try to make plans. And I find that funny because it's true. We do so much to meticulously plan everything to make sure that, that our purpose and the things that we want are, are made successful. And I think we can get so wrapped up in that that we forget that, that like what we think our purpose is and what our plan is may not be the plan that God has for us. Sometimes I just think that overtakes even trying to realize what God's plan for us. So I wrote this post and I started with this verse from Proverbs 19.21. It says, many plans are in a person's mind, but the Lord's purpose will succeed. And I thought that was perfect for this post because I mean, it's, it's, it's black and white. There's no conclusions to draw. There's, there's no way to get that twisted. There's no, I mean, there's no controversy with this verse. I mean, it's just, it's just black and white and it's right there. Many plans are in a person's mind, but the Lord's purpose will succeed. So we could have all kinds of things planned out for our lives. We could, you know, I go, you know, right here, the, one of the first things I, I point to is that, you know, we obsess over choosing the right classes to get into the right school so that we can get the right job. And I feel like early on, this is something that a lot of us will do. Um, we'll, we'll obsess about trying to pick the right classes. We'll obsess about, well, I got to take these classes because this is what this school is looking for. And if I want to get a good job, I need to graduate with honors from this school because this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I want to do, so of course this is what I'm supposed to do. But that's not what that's not what the Bible teaches us. The Bible doesn't teach us that what we want to do is what we're supposed to do. And I would even go as far as to argue that in any other case, the thing that's uncomfortable and the thing that you don't really want to do is oftentimes the thing that you're supposed to do. Um, you know, I've I talk about this in. in in a few other posts but you know like let's say going to the gym you know unless you're like some like ripped physique monster I mean even 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 those guys don't don't want to go to the gym every day but you don't want to go to the gym every day you don't want to go to the gym when you're tired but you do it because it's what's best for your body you know you don't want to save money like you're supposed to because you want the things you want to go buy you want to go out you want to go out to a nice dinner you want to buy this or you want to buy that you know but it's it's better for you in the long run to put money away so I, I would argue that choosing the thing that's uncomfortable and choosing the thing that you don't want to do often will res will result in the most benefit you know so just because we feel like we want to do something doesn't mean that's what the, doesn't mean that that's our purpose and that's what God has planned for us. I talk about why people plan, um, why people are so meticulous about planning. Um, and I say it right here. So right here is where I kind of go into what I think the problem is. And I think the problem is that when we plan, it's not, it's not from the right place. I would say that many of us plan out of fear. You know, and I feel like a lot of that has to do with our faith. If we had, if we were able to muster complete and utter faith for God, then whatever we would plan, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be so attached to it. We wouldn't be so bent on planning every meticulous detail because we would know that, okay, this, this may or not, this may or may not be God's plan for me. I feel like it is in the moment. I'm, 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 I'm trying to let the Holy Spirit lead me in the right direction, but maybe it's not. And I have to be willing to, to be open to that. 
An another problem is we plan out of arrogance. You know, we think maybe like nothing is going to get done and nothing is going to happen for me unless I do it myself. And there's a lot of value in, in taking priority and, 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 and taking control of your own life. Um, especially in this world we have to live in. I mean, I completely understand that. I just think if you're so narrowed in and you don't have a wider perspective, you're going to lose the real value, which is that your plans pale in comparison to God's plans and that there's nothing that you could do or plan that's going to set you up for success and for a more intimate relationship with God more than realizing that he does have a plan. Right here I say, I say our arrogance prevents us from taking the leap. Because to be honest, it is a leap to completely uh, detach yourself from, from, from planning, from having control, from, from being the only one to get things done, uh, from being the one that has complete control over your life. It's, it's almost impossible to take that leap. And I would argue nobody does it completely and fully. And I, I think that has to do with our arrogance. Faith requires a belief in something you can't see, touch, or feel. You know, and when, when God isn't standing right in front of you in a flesh form and he has and he doesn't have like these big blueprints in his hand saying, Well, you know, when you turn 21, this is what we're gonna do, and then when you when you have your first kid, your life's gonna go this way, and you know, right here there's gonna be a big trial and a big bump, and you're gonna have to start all the way over. But that's okay, because right after that I have this coming for you. You don't have that. What you do have is faith. But the problem with faith is that you have to feed faith. Just like anything else, you have to feed faith. So if you're not constantly feeding your faith, if you're not constantly pursuing uh, an intimate relationship with God and being in your word and just surrounding yourself in the, in the ecosystem of God, it's really difficult for you to build that faith and to be able to let go of that arrogance and take that leap. As you've heard, I haven't said not to plan. I haven't told anybody, just abandon everything that you're planning and just wait for God to do things for you. That's not how it works either. That's why following God and, 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 and being a Christ follower isn't, it's not a necessity. And that sounds horrible for me to say, but it's definitely not for everybody. And man, I'm, say, I'm saying this out loud and it's making me feel horrible, but that's the truth. Anyway, back to this post. I end on this post basically encouraging you not to stop planning. Planning is good, especially in this world that we live in, especially with everything everything that encompasses like being an adult. And that does require planning, and that's fine. That's completely fine. What I do suggest and what basically this whole the whole point of this post was is that you find some way to keep your plans and arm's distance away from your attachment. Don't be so attached to your plans that you can't abandon it the moment you get the go ahead from God. The moment you feel or you think that you're not following God's will and you have to change that. You have to change that. You have to abandon that. In some cases, you have to abandon it altogether. Because what's more important than getting a good job and getting good grades and getting paid well and being respected in your field or whatever it is that you're planning, what takes precedence over that is your relationship with God. If you got any more questions, you know, feel free to like DM me, feel free to send me a message on any of the social medias, just search Prayer Locker on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, join our Facebook group. Um, it's a great community of people, you know, that we pray for each other and we're just kind of there for each other uh, online. So. Go to prayerequestpassion.com to read more about this post. It's called Under Control, and I hope you guys enjoy.